whenever you want to use a large language model for your own data or for your company's data, you need to fine tune that model. Gradient makes it very easy to fine tune a model. Currently, they support Llama and few other models to be fine tuned and that list will grow quickly. In order to use Gradient, you need to sign up for a free account and you get $10 credit. You would need to provide your email address and also you will need to verify your phone number. Once that's done, you will get a free credit. Then log in to Gradient and you will be presented with this screen. Here, click on Create New Workspace and give a name to it. Once you will give the name, it will be something like this, like I already have it by workspace and you will get a workspace ID like this. Copy it. Also on the top right, click on this icon, go to access token and generate an access token and copy it. So you would need these two things. Now, once you have it, you can start using gradient because that will give you $10 free credit. Cool. For this demo, I'm going to use AWS SageMaker Notebook instance of type G4 DNX large. This is a bit higher than what it needs, but you can use any lesser instance too. You can use any Linux flavor or Windows or wherever you have the prerequisites installed, such as Python and stuff. You can even use Google Colab free version for this demo. I already have it running. So let me go there. First thing we need to do is to install some of the prerequisites. So let me install them. And those prerequisites are pip install transformer and pip install gradient AI upgrade. Let me run it. It will install it. So let it finish. So that's done. Second one, you need to set the environment. As you remember, we copied this token and this gradient workspace ID from their website. You need to put it in these environment variables. So put it here and click on play. That's done. Now we will be using Llama model and a fine tuned Llama model called as Now's Hums 2 for this demo. And it has a specific prompt template. Now, in order to generate the prompt template, you need to go to that model and maybe on hugging face or wherever that model is and make sure you get the model template. For instance, my model template for this one will look like something this, which is very typical for Llama. So here, what I'm saying is that triple hash space instruction will be this. I'm asking my model who is Fahad Mirza and then slash and slash and triple hash space and then respond. This is the prompt format which the model expects and it should be in the same one. So if you are using your own model, then make sure that this template is um, same as your model expects to have the correct answers. Okay, now, as you remember, I told you that fine tuning means that to give model some context or to give model your own data. And we will be giving the model our own data through these prompt templates and we will be providing it some samples. Cool. So the way it works is that we need to generate some sample data set and from there we will give it to the model. The way I generate data set is I simply go online and use the free version of ChatGPT like this. So I'm on ChatGPT website at the moment. Let me paste my query. So this is what I'm asking ChatGPT. I'm saying that following is a data set for training a large language model. Could you create more variations of this data set for training while keeping the same format? And this is a list or array with two samples I have prov I'm providing to ChatGPT and I'm asking it to provide something more. So what exactly is going on? Instruction is that who is Fahad Mirza? And then I have created some of the response. Fahad Mirza is a technologist who does this. And also I have altered the words and have asked the same question in other words, also provided the response in similar words. Now let's run it. And chat GPT is going to give me various variations. So let's wait for it. 
So let's simply copy this and we can use it in our code and let me show you how. I am back to my notebook and we already had installed these libraries and we had set the environment variables. And this is the code I am going to use. Let me walk you through it. First, we are importing that gradient library. Then we are setting the base model, which is now Herms2. Then we are setting the adapter where I'm just giving it my own name because after fine tuning, I will have a sort of a new model, which I'm calling as my model. I'm printing the adapter ID and then I'm giving it a sample query to the model and printing the result before fine tuning. Now, as you can imagine, this model has no idea who Fahad Mirza is. So not sure what it is going to print here. Then I am providing some of the samples which I created from ChatGPT. And then I am giving it the iterations. I'm doing five iterations or I'm asking uh, this model to go through these samples five times and get trained on it. So here it is that new adapter is getting trained on these um, samples five times. Once that's done, I am again asking the model same question and then it will give me the answer after fine tuning. So we will see what the answer is before fine tuning and what is the answer after the fine tuning. And don't worry about the code. I will drop this whole code in my blog and drop the link in uh, link of that blog in video's description. So let me run it. Okay, so num of reports. So let me quickly fix the indentation. Just give me a sec. So my array is out of indentation. So let me just indent it. Oops. I'm running it again and it is in progress. So let's see what happens this time. So this is the first time. Let's see what the response is. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so it has it is saying that Fahad Mirza is a Pakistani actor, model and television host. Which is not really correct. And it is now training it. First iteration, second, and remember we gave it five iterations. So let's wait for it to come back. Third one. It has done four, five iterations. So let's see what the response is this time. Let's wait for it to come back. Should be fun. There you go. So this time after fine tuning, it has given me the correct answer that who Fahad Meza is. Now you can see that how cool is it that uh, and how easy it is to fine tune a model by using this gradient. All we need to do is simply use this command or this loop to fine tune our base model onto these samples and you can imagine you can give anything here and then only run this command and you control how many iterations you want and remember don't iterate it too much time otherwise you will be just overfitting it so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will drop the link to this gradient website and also to my blog in video's description where all the commands will be. Another thing I would highly suggest before I finish this video is to go to this docs.gradient.ai and then check their um, various guides. Very, very well written. You can even go to this get started and uh, I there is a Python SDK, Node.js SDK, and it also tells you which model it is supporting. So for instance, if you go to the model, it is right now supporting Bloom, Llama 2, and this is the one we used, but you can any use any one of them. And then uh, I'm really waiting for this to come up because uh, this will really make it uh, very interesting and I'll be doing more videos around it. O hopefully my credit doesn't run out. And one last observation, uh, 
um, I really like these retro images, which they have used with the new ones. So really good stuff. This is it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to put it in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.